Hey, happy Tuesday. I tell you what, I couldn't stand it anymore. I'm out of the house. It's actually not too bad. Once you get out on the, once you get off the secondary roads, it's not, it's not too bad. Um, oh shit, I might have spoken too soon. What is this mess? to get out. I've got a bunch of stuff back there that I'm taking to drop off and uh, I need to go to the post office. I need to go to Kohl's to return an Amazon thing that I bought that didn't work. Um, I got a bunch of places I gotta go. I have got to go get some groceries. We, we have run out of several things that I, it didn't even occur to me that we were running low on these things. So I gotta get milk. I gotta get bread. I've gotta get all kinds of just basic stuff. Cereal. I think we have a little bit in the bottom of one box of cereal left and it's all gone except for that. Because what my kids do, they will they will consume most of a box of cereal and they'll leave it up there with just a little bit in it. And I don't know because I don't eat that cereal so I don't check it to see how much is in it. And you pick it up and it has like a hint of some cereal on the bottom. Like, why do you leave it up there like that? Why do you do that? I, they both do it. They'll put the gallon of milk back in the refrigerator with like a teaspoon of milk in it. What is the per? What is that? Psychologically, what is motivating you to do that? Good Lord, I don't, I don't know. All you have to do is rinse it out right quick and, and collapse it down and drop it in the recycle bin. That's all you got to do. It won't take you 20 seconds. But no, damn, dude. All right. Calm down. I tell you what, man, we get any kind of ice, people get excited. They start driving like they're nuts. But these roads are actually fine. They're probably mad. They've been printed. they've been stuck at home for two days and like, damn it, I'm going fast. I'm gonna go as fast as possible. I'm gonna pass everybody. Yeah, these roads are fine. They're basically dry. We got we got more sleet than anything else. I mean we did get some snow, but it was mostly sleet. I don't think we really got any freezing rain, which was wonderful. I was really worried about that, but we didn't really get any. Oh, train tracks. <laughs> la, 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 la. <laughs> that always makes me happy. I don't know why. So, I did not make a video for my other channel last night because well, it was my fault. I ate more raw cookie dough than I should have. I know better. I know you're not supposed to, but I've always done it. Well, I was sick last night. I felt I was so nauseous last night, like all night last night. I didn't fall asleep till about two o'clock this morning. I felt so sick to my stomach. I thought I'm afraid to try to go to sleep. I just, I cannot, I feel like I have to sit up and I, I couldn't make it, I couldn't do it. I just, I couldn't do it. All I could focus on was how sick to my stomach I felt. I was very nauseous, so. I just decided, well, I think, I, I think I'm going to get a day off. I think I'm just not going to do it. So, yeah. I'll, I'll do something today. I don't know what, but I'll do something. I have a bit of a tickle in my throat. I have been coughing a bit this morning, but I, I get that way sometimes. I think it's dust because I was dusting earlier. And whenever I get around dust... I didn't used to have this much problem with it, but now whenever I get around dust, I just, I get this tickle in my throat and it just will not go away. And I just have this dry cough way after I'm no longer around the dust. Cause I guess it's still in there or something. I don't know, but I've noticed it happens when I get around dust. So I'm fine. I'm just, <coughs> it's dead. Avalanche, sorry dude. I tried to scrape that, that junk off my roof before I left, but it wouldn't budge. Well, it just did. I just had a little, woo, there goes the rest of it. I just had a little avalanche. Sorry about that back there. My fault. Uh-oh, there's a cop car. What's going on? They've got the road. Oh, I see. Oh, shit. They're backing out this trailer with, with uh, camper shells on it. Okay, they're blocking off the road to help him get out. Oh, that's nice. Okay, where am I going first? I've got to go to Walmart. I've got to go to the post office. I've got to go to Kohl's. 
to drop that thing off. Oh, shoot. What happened to you, dude? Oh, your four-wheel drive's not helping you. Oh, he's stuck. Bless his heart. That's one problem with trying to pull in any of these businesses is they've pushed up all the stuff and it's mounded up. And some people think they're Billy Badass and they can just drive over it and then they get stuck. It like, whoop, you know, and they get stuck on that hump of ice and they can't get over it. And now they're embarrassed. And I don't know why you thought you could climb over that. You need to quit watching the commercials for these trucks and thinking you can climb a mountain with the damn thing because you actually can't. And in the tiny print, it will tell you do not attempt because it doesn't work in real life. A lot of people seem to forget that, you know, the world you see on a screen is not real. A lot of what you see is not real. That's why I, you know, if anybody ever tells me, if a young person comes to me and says that they are having trouble with depression and feeling like they're not good enough, my first piece of advice is always to get off social media. Quit looking at it because a lot of what you're looking at is not real. It is not real. You are trying to live up to a standard that even that person you're looking at cannot reach. It's fake. A lot of it is fake. Quit looking at it. I don't look at it. I have an Instagram for my channel, but I follow one person and that's it. Because <laughs> I love him. Um, but, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't bother with it. I don't care. Because it's, it's just a waste of time. You'd be better served to go to a bookstore and find a good book and or go to the library and find a good book and just sit down and read it. That would serve you much better than scrolling through all that shit on there. Don't waste your time on it. I know I sound like an old grandma, but seriously, get off of that mess. I was going to tell you... What was I going to tell you? About some of the requests I get for things... I was thinking about it last night. Somebody sent me a message on Facebook. Good God. How can I get in there? Shit. You gonna have to come out, dude. We can't both do this. I'm not being nice. I just can't get in. Let's see if I can get in here. You know, I bet they're not even... Are they taking... Hang on a minute. All right. I'm trying to turn around. It's gross back here. Oh, we got it. All right. Yeah, it, st it stinks like a skunk out here. Every time, every time I come here, oh, somebody dropped their box of Circle K donuts. <laughs> oh damn that sucks I would be so mad I would be so mad what are you doing landscaping people shoot what am I doing I don't know what I'm doing let's see we'll park next to the Chevy Volt if I could get in there I saw a video yesterday of a lady pulled up to a gas pump trying to figure out where to put the gas in her Tesla <laughs> she looks so frustrated <laughs> like Where's the damn gas cap? <laughs> like, oh honey, bless your heart. Why did you have to be blonde? <laughs> Sweetie, how do you how do you purchase a Tesla and not know <laughs> what you've got? Okay. Okay. So I got this message on, on Facebook the other day from somebody wanting some jewelry and stuff from one of my videos. And I get those requests a lot. And I, you I mean, I don't mind sending people stuff. I really don't. But some people take it too far. Like they keep asking for stuff and asking for stuff. And one thing that I've noticed, I would say probably of the people who ask for things, maybe only 5% of them ever even say thank you or even acknowledge that they got it. Which, I mean, that's not why I do it. I do it because I'm just, you know, yeah, I mean, I've got it. I don't need it. I will send it to you. They don't offer to pay me for shipping or anything. they just like, hey, there's this thing. Can I have it? Here's my address. And then I, I, I say, sure. And they go, cool. And then that's the last, like, I'll mail it to them. And I never hear back, hey, I got it. It's really nice. 
And it's just like, were you not raised with any manners? It just amazes me how many people have no sense of just basic manners. And I implore you today, if you were not taught to say please and thank you, or you think it's not necessary, it does not cost you anything to be nice and just to appreciate things people do. And again, I'm not doing it for that, but it just makes me sad to see how few people out there, again, it's like 5% maybe, say thank you. The rest of them are just like, here's my address. Can you send me that necklace? I really liked it. Can I have it? And I, you know, most of the time I say yes, I do. It's not very often I say no. But I've about gotten to the point that I don't even answer these people anymore because I, it happens so often. But I had to tell you about my, my the, the most amazing experience I had with somebody asking for something. This one, and this was back this past summer. It was getting towards the end of summer. And this lady sends me a message on Facebook. And all I have to say is I'm glad I don't have this woman's nerve in my tooth. She goes, hey, it's getting near the end of summer and fall's coming. Like, yeah, that's usually what happens at the end of summer. And fall's coming. And I was thinking, I need a new wreath for my front door. So I wondered if you could just go ahead and, and put one together for me. Now, I want it to be primarily brown. Don't put a bunch of orange in it. I would like it to be primarily brown, maybe a little bit of red and yellow. Um, also, I hate sunflowers. Do not put sunflowers in it. I cannot stand them. It, there's just, I hate them. You're going to have to find some other, you know, just other decorative things. I don't mind if you put flowers, just no sunflowers. Oh, also, the front of my house gets a lot of sun, so you cannot use a hot glue gun. You're going to have to find another way to put it on because the hot glue melts and the stuff falls off, so you can't use that. But you're real, you're really creative. I know you can find a way. I know you can find a way to do it. So, again, you know, I, I, I'm looking for a wreath for my front door. Um, no hot glue, no sunflowers, don't put orange in it. And if you could, if you could just get started on that, you know, if you could just go ahead and get started so you can get it to me quickly, you know, sooner rather than later, because I want to have it in time to really enjoy it for fall. Um, here's my address. Yeah, if you could just get started, just go ahead and confirm when you've started. And if you could just get started, you know, in the next day or two, that'd be great. And that was it. Like, I, well, it, and so I read it, I read it and I'm going, hey, hang on a minute, hang on a minute now. <laughs> I've never heard from this woman in my life. I don't know her. And I'm sitting here like, hang on a damn minute. <laughs> You're telling me. I don't know you from Adam's Tomcat and you want me to take my time, my money, my supplies to make you a wreath, which each of these wreaths takes anywhere from three and a half to four hours, four, four and a half hours to make. It takes a while. You want me to use up all my supplies and just, and I gotta find another way to attach things. For God forbid you put a sunflower in there. Don't do that. You want me to do all this using my time and materials and then mail it to you, which the average cost to mail one of these wreaths in the USA is anywhere from 10 to $12 just to mail it. So you, t and not only that, but I need to step on it and get started quickly Cause, you know, come on now, let's go. Don't dilly dally, get it done and send it to me. And she didn't even say thank you or no. It was just, you need to respond to this just so I can confirm that you have received my instructions. Like what the hell? There was no mention of any, any money or for my time or my trouble or anything. None. It was just make a wreath and send it to me, please. Oh, there wasn't even a please in there. Make a wreath and send it to me. And here are my requirements for that wreath. Pay you? I'm not going to pay you. No. <laughs> You're really good at it. And I was thinking that'd be like walking into a salon and going, hey, my roots are getting really bad. It's about time to do them. So if you could just clear out one of these chairs for me just, you know, quickly and just go ahead and do that because, you know, oh, and don't use that brand. But I know you can find something better because you're so good at it. So if we could just get on that. You wouldn't do that. That would be ridiculous. So why, why would this, why would you contact me? <laughs> why would you contact me and ask me to do this for you? I, I did not respond. Like I have no response to, I have no words for this woman. I have not, I got nothing to say. 
I just blocked her. I deleted her message and blocked her so she can't ever message me again. Like, you have got a lot of nerve. You are really, really something. You know that? I bet you don't walk into a florist and ask them to make you a bouquet because your birthday's coming up for free. Why are you asking me to do this? That just blew my mind on so many levels. It was just amazing. But yeah, most people don't say thank you. And um, people have asked me, you know, why don't you do another thing where you buy outfits, you know, put together outfits for people. Um, that, okay, now I have done that now for what, let's see, six, I've done it for at least eight people. Out of those eight people, one of them responded to say, thank you for the stuff. And I liked this pair of pants. The others, I heard nothing from them. I got no response at all. I sent them all that stuff and I never, I even followed up and I sent them messages like, hey, I'm just checking to see if, you know, the, the tracking number says you got your package. Did you like the stuff? Literally none of them responded. I got no response. So it's like shouting into a void. I don't know if they liked it or not. I might have done a terrible job. I got zero feedback from seven of the eight people. And that kind of goes along with feedback I get for other things. Like most people, you never hear from them. You don't. You don't You don't even get an acknowledge, no received. Yeah, I got it. No, nothing. So I'm sitting here like, I must have done a really shitty job and they just didn't know how to tell me. So I don't have any plans to do that again. It takes a lot of money and a lot of time to do that. To mail those packages out, to mail out a big box of stuff like that can... I had to send one to England and it cost me $120 just to mail it. That person didn't respond. I got nothing from her. No response. I don't know if she likes it or not. I have no idea. So, no, I don't I don't plan to do it again. It's it's too expensive. It's and I don't even I don't even know if I did a good job or not. I don't even know if they liked it. So, I don't plan to do it again anytime soon, no. But anyway, I'm going to I'm at Goodwill. I'm gonna run in here for a minute. I went through, I, I went through all my cabinets, all the bathroom cabinets, pulled out a whole bunch of stuff. I had a whole bunch of um, work clothes that I never wear. I donated a whole bunch of stuff. And then I got to go to the store. But anyway, I had to tell you about the, the wreath lady. That was just, wow. That was unbelievable. I wonder what she said when she found out I had blocked her and she <laughs> getting like, that bitch blocked me. The nerve of her. I know, right? The nerve of me blocking you when you asked for a free wreath to be sent to you. To be handcrafted and sent to you. Yeah, I got a lot of nerve. I have a friend who's a photographer and she runs into that all the time. She was telling me, she said, you know, you get invited to a lot of weddings if you're a photographer because they think that, oh, well, while you're here, why don't you just snap some pictures right quick? Yeah, that'd be really cool. You know, or they'll say, you know, why is it so expensive? I don't understand. You're just snapping some pictures. Like, why are you, why are you even charging me for that? People have no concept of what, how that works. Like, <laughs> you don't get my services for free because they look easy to you. You don't get them for free for that. Doesn't work that way. Yeah, she, she runs into that a lot. It's like, my God, that's, that sucks. <laughs> But anyway, I hope you're having a good day. Please don't hit me. I hope you're having a good day. And uh, I will talk to you again soon. And yeah, that's it.